right? I'm not touching. Just looking. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Learning lessons is for the weak. I regret absolutely nothing. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jess, and today we're getting back into Starfield. We are on our way to go deliver our branch and sing some whale songs to the trees. So please sit back, grab a drink, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the Great Laredo Caper, we have to wait until midnight to confront this dude outside of the arms office, which also did not have any of the ammo I was looking for, so that's unfortunate. But we'll come back. Uh hey, you. Uh, how did you catch me? Uh, uh, bruh. Uh, shit. You literally are crouched uh, uh, down looking suspicious. Yeah? Skulking around right around a factory at midnight. Nothing suspicious here. I, I can explain. It's not. Oh hell. Oh god, no security. What? I'm not part of this. Don't anybody move. Let's see. Uh, hands are up. If it ain't the hero of Galbank. And who do we have here? Looks like you're carrying a lot of weapons for a nighttime stroll. I... I... Hell, I give up. Smart move. What is happening? I got a tip something was going down tonight. Was, was it your... actually right about all this? It is your daughter. Might want to consider giving her a real badge. <laughs> now that's a terrifying thought. I got her from here. Tequila City owes you again. That was and, uh, easy. Thank Annie for me. Dear God, she's never gonna last till the end of this. Okay, well, I guess that was the easiest apprehension. I wonder what would have happened if uh, we hadn't saved the bank. I wonder if it would have put us in a more precarious situation with uh, with security. Interesting. Okay, kid, are, isn't it past your bedtime? That should be the three -star to the <gasps> Did you catch the thief? Tell me it worked. Annie, you're supposed to be doing your homework. Mom, I Okay, have that to is know. her mom. You've got it right, right? Security has the suspect in custody. Seems like an open and shut case. I told her over and over be there at midnight. And see? I was right. Annie L. Wilcox, what did you do? Ooh, we got the full name. I, I told you about it. You know the Laredo robbery? Well, we caught the thief. Wait, so that's real? Of course, Mom. I told you. I, uh, she's telling the truth. You're not pulling my leg, right? Nope. As crazy as it sounds, she's not lying. I can't believe it. Annie? We'll talk more about this later, but I'm proud of you. But you've got to be careful. Yes, Mom. I'm going to be the best stranger surveillance assistant ever. Thank you for helping my girl and anything else involved. Take this. Lord preserve me. <laughs> You're going to need it with that kid. Rangers with some, but I really can't talk about it. Well, hey there. Hi. Aquila's really Hi, the heart of the Three Star Collective. Like. Got into a tussle with a Shaw Gang smuggling ship in Kodo's orbit. Had a limp back to Aquila City, with my ride mostly in one piece. It was a bit of a hard landing, you might say. Got a few broken ribs and a concussion. Turns out one of those ribs punctured a lung. Ooh. Had a breathing tube in for a spell, but that's gone now. Seems I'm healing up pretty good. Use a thoracostomy tube as a pretty standard treatment for uh, this. Okay. Yeah, of course. Everyone knows a thoracostomy tube is the right approach for uh, that problem. That's it then? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I'm kind of a jerk. I know it all jerk. <laughs> what is that thing?
Well, I don't want to run into that in the wilderness here. Let's go see if we can find one. Okay, this is a very different, uh... This is very different from what I thought this was gonna be. It's loud. It's pretty, though. Um, I was expecting desert, but this is not desert. In the slightest. Oh, toxic gas. Is that thing mean? Are you mean? Oh, you're dead now. Structural. <gasps> I think we found one. Hello. Okay. Man, this gun is good. Oh, I'm loving this. Who's this? Okay, got some toxin. A grazing insufer? Hi, buddy. I'm just looking. How's it going? They don't. Okay, so the resource is toxin, but they don't seem to be. Which, that's fine. But he doesn't seem to be aggressive. He's just warning me. He's just not happy that I'm over there. Which I get. That's fine. You can be upset. I'm not hurting you none. It says that's a buzz runner. I'm not touching. Just looking. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! What? Oh no. Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna die. Is he following me still? <gasps> oh no! <gasps> oh shit! Okay, so... Okay, I need to get off this planet. Like, I need to- I need to leave. I need to- Circling me. 
All of them are. Okay, okay, I'm up here. I'm up here. I'm okay. Who's that? Clearing it out a little bit so I can get out of here. Okay. Alright, let's go give our branch to our good friend. Oh, I like, I like that I can just pick a spot to fast travel to and I don't have to do the whole rigmarole of going through the spaceport. That was great. Hey, buddy, I got your lifted branch. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in the I absolutely have. I didn't lift it. She gave it to me because I convinced her. Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, just do it in an inconspicuous spot, please. I'd now, appreciate that. I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. All right, so we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I think we can survive. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. Okay. So, Success? we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. Well, play it. Play it like whale songs. <laughs> I don't have much of a singing voice, but I can try. Oh, I'm quite certain you couldn't achieve the necessary register. I speak whale. Far too low for human vocal cords. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, sir, it might do the trick. I've committed so many crimes for you. Exposure to the frequency in the simulation could be potentially harmful. Are you sure we should do this? You're right. There's a chance that there could be some minor adverse side effects. Don't kill me, please. But none would be life-threatening. Okay. We won't play the broadcast loud or long enough to cause any major or permanent damage to humans or other organic life. And aside from that, if we don't calm this tree down soon, well, I fear that the vibrations it's emitting will eventually reach such strength it could severely damage our internal organs. All right, I'll take care I of it. No doubt that you will. Like I said, I've committed so many crimes for you. What's one more? It doesn't matter. Oh, don't I have to bring that lady a coffee? Maybe I'll stop back down there on my way. Excuse me, ma'am. Got important illegal business to attend. You didn't hear me say that. Illegal call. business to attend to. Ew. What? But David's my friend. He writes me. I hate to break is it a cease and desist? The is the one who signs all those cards and headshots. Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. But I came all this way. That's sad. Listen, I might be able to hook you up with I'll come back. I might be able to get you in. Okay, broadcast. Upload the file. And then run the diagnostic. Okay. Success. Don't mind me, ma'am. If you ever find yourself with a David's amazing. And I hear he's single. Oh dear, okay. You have fun with that. I'm gonna go soothe the trees with my whale calls.
Okay, this is the Terra Brute. What one was I supposed to buy for her on my way out? Hello, Starbucks. It's a cappuccino. Hello and welcome to Terra Brute. Certainly. Please take your time. Okay, cappuccino. Seventy-five creds. All right, this lady owes me. All right, goodbye. See you later. So I've returned. We've done it. I'm already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that word. What happens now? No. Okay. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. Anytime. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis. You need any more crimes committed? No. Come find me. Thank you. I don't know about this nav point anymore. Is she sitting behind the sign? Oh, she must be, ma'am. Oh, you're cleaning the sign. Here you go. I'm so excited to see Tony out. Oh, thank you so much. Soon I'll be coursing with bountiful energy. I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis. <laughs> Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. Oh, sweet. Thanks. Take care. You doing okay there, ma'am? Hello, friend. Ah, crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for me. I did one thing. Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Dawn's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Um, sure, I can do that for you. Good. Report back here when the matter's resolved. I don't know when I became a glorified cop, Let but okay. Don't you worry, buddy. This is not a faction, so I don't feel particularly bad about going and doing these, though I do just feel like we're kind of a glorified little babysitter. It's like, mm, I don't want to deal with this problem. My men don't want to deal with this problem. So I'm just gonna pay you to go deal with this problem. Which, I mean, I guess if you got the money to throw at it, but... This feels like rich people area. Hello, people. Ooh. I do all of our signature dishes are unique to the roost. You won't find anything like them anywhere else. I'm here about a fight that happened at your restaurant. Ah, uh, a most unfortunate incident, complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio had been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. I need to find one of the patrons involved. Apparently he stole something. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after Lucy's security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon. But I would start there. This place looks expensive. The Dawn's Roost represents the highest quality, from the ingredients to the decor. No expense is spared. Anyone who has sampled our offerings will assure you it is all worth it. Okay, well, I'd like to see a menu real quick. Yes, of course. What you got? 
you got? Oh, oh, what we? A baguette. Okay, Chardonnay. Oh, I like a good Riesling. Oh, man, this place is bougie. Okay, you can buy just a straight orange. Is an orange considered, like, bougie in space? I guess it probably would be, huh? Alright. Well, I'm gonna go find Hugo, because he sounds Enjoy pretentious enough to, to come to this place. So, I'll be off. Thank you, good sir, for your time. Keep your overpriced baguettes. What if we took the kids to your brother's place? It's kind of fun to listen to them just casually chat amongst themselves. All right, are you this dude that I'm looking for? Or are you the doorman? Excuse me. You don't look great. You look like you're gonna puke, or like you have something to hide, or both. Oh, Vitaly, tell you that liar and hypocrite. That, that, that dirty, rotten scoundrel. Thank you. He's a scoundrel and a fiend, and I was wrong to ever think otherwise. Mm. Five years we were together, half a decade. And he threw it all away for that waiter. It's a spat. Got it. All right, my dude. Well, your ex claims that you stole that Everyone ring. Everyone says that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. Okay, I'm not Judge Judy. I mean, I agree, but at the same time, don't you think it would just be better to give it back? I think you should still give it back, dude. There's no sense holding on to it anyways, right? You're in a, out of a toxic rela relationship, it sounds like. I don't care. I'm not giving it to you. Is that what the law says? To be honest, I, I am not sure. I didn't think so, but I don't know either. I'm just talking out my butt. So you would rob me too. Not robbing you. I'm saving you from your toxic relationship choices. Give me the ring. I know. I may be extremely agitated, but I want no part of a UC prison. Here. I'm saving you from yourself. So this way you're not going to look at it and then be tempted to go back to your ex, all right? I've done you a service. Goodbye. Sergeant. What can I do for you? I finished my investigation. Oh, perfect. Did you manage to get the ring back? I did. Excellent. I'm sure the victim will be pleased to know their property has been returned. You acquitted yourself well again. I dare say you might. I'm not going to get in the habit of it. Police work. I'm a Here, rogue. Take this. It's well deserved. Thank you, good sir. I will spend this money well. You have a good day. See you on the flip side. Well, with that being said, I think that's a good place to end it for today. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to continue to support the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I always enjoy your guys' feedback, so don't be shy. Please feel free to, to leave me a note. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!